Before you begin removing powder perfection by e-file, wash and sanitize yours and your client's hands thoroughly. Once hands are clean, I'll start by using a medium to coarse removal bit to reduce the bulk of the nail. When I file, I want to make sure I always see color powder so I don't make contact with the natural nail. Always use light pressure and let the bit do the work for you. Keep in mind, the more product I remove now, the less soaking I will need to do later. But I don't want to touch the natural nail, as this could cause nail damage. With my cosmetic brush, I'll dust the nails before wrapping. This will ensure the remover makes direct contact with the enhancement. Next, I'll wrap each nail with a nail wrap saturated in lacquer remover or artificial nail remover. I like to fold the top of the nail wrap so that way all of the remover stays inside. For extra removing power, saturate a nail wipe in your choice of remover and place it on top of the pad in the wrap. If I'm soaking with lacquer remover, I'll check nails after 20 to 25 minutes. If soaking with artificial nail remover, I'll check nails after 10 to 15 minutes. For added heat during the removal, place hands in salon mitts and cover them with a towel. Using a twisting motion, I'll unwrap each nail. Then, I gently push off the powder perfection with a reusable cuticle stick. But if the product doesn't remove easily, I'll rewrap the nail and soak for an additional five minutes.
Once all product has been removed, I'll have my client wash his or her hands and then proceed with the desired service. <laughs>